This Disney doppelganger gets most of his screen time as the villainous zealot Frollo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But his double has a short but terrifyingly memorable appearance as Monsieur d'Arc in Beauty and the Beast. These characters are nastily imperious and determined to impose their twisted will on the protagonists. Both stories are set in France, so it's possible that these fiendish foes are really the same person. In The Hunchback of Notre Dame, we see Frollo fall from the bell tower. But what if he survived, was institutionalized, but with his wicked will was able to take control of the country asylum to which he was confined? And Monsieur d'Arc does have a certain zombie-like appearance. Here's Frollo. Judge Claude Frollo. Judge Claude Frollo longed to purge the world of vice and sin. And he saw corruption everywhere except within. Bring these gypsy vermin to the palace of justice. You there! What are you hiding? Stolen goods, no doubt. Take them from her. She And here's Monsieur d'Arc. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night, but he said you'd make it worth my while. Ah, I'm listening. It's like this. I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little persuasion. <laughs> Turned them down flat. <laughs> Everyone knows her father's a lunatic. He was in here tonight, raving about a beast in a castle. Maurice is harmless. The point is, Belle would do anything to keep him from being locked up. You want me to throw her father into the asylum unless she agrees to marry you? Oh, that is despicable. <laughs> I love it. Both characters were brought to life by the bone-chilling voice of Tony J. Here he is, playing a zombie, in the Woody Allen film, Love and Death. Grushenko. Vladimir Maximovich, you're alive. No, I'm dead. Look at this hole. Oh, does it hurt? I feel nothing. Man, you don't look so bad for a guy who's dead. Actually, better than when you were alive. I think it agrees with you. So do me a favor. Sure, anything. This engagement ring. Uh-huh. Uh, I was going to give it to my girlfriend, a surprise. Oh, you want me to give it to her? No, what's the point? I'll take it back to the jewelers in Smolensk. Right. Petroshnik, Vladimir Petroshnik. Okay. Tell him I'm dead and get the deposit back. Oh, okay. Jay lent his distinctive voice to many animated projects, including narrating Disney's Treasure Planet. On the clearest of nights, when the winds of the Ethereum were calm and peaceful, the great merchant ships with their cargoes of Arcturian solar crystals felt safe and secure. Little did they suspect that they were pursued by pirates. And the most feared of all these pirates was the notorious Captain Nathaniel Flint. Let me know about your favorite Disney doppelgangers in the comments and subscribe for more Disney doppelgangers and other fun videos. Thank you for watching.